<clears throat> well, hey there, Aquarius, my fellow air sign buddies. How's it going? It's your friend Dharma here to do you a love spread for May, and then I'm going to extend it all the way into June. Um, so really, it's just for like the next couple of weeks whenever you're watching this. Um, tarot readings are kind of timeless. You can watch a video that's years old and they can mean exactly, um, I just saw the nine of cups that's wishes granted. So I don't know if that's where we're going with this, but calling in guys and angels, anyone from the highest good has a message to come forward for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, Venus, and as always, hello to cross watchers. Stop, I heard stop. All right. Past, present, future. Let's see what we got. Okay. We have Okay. So right off the bat, I want to talk about lies. And the reason I'm saying that is because you've got the seven of swords in reverse and the eight of fire in reverse. That's, I mean, that's straight up lies. It is. And if you read tarot or if you know anything about tarot, what's the eight of fire? That's like fast, swift, fast communication. That's usually like really passionate, but the seven of air is usually like being sneaky. That's, I mean, that's lies. And here you have this like queen of cups. So either somebody is saying it to a water sign or it's um, like, a, you know, about love and like hoping that somebody here is going to receive this like love because over here in your recent past, you have the fool in reverse, which means something didn't start the strength in reverse, which this probably like was deflating because there was a lot of generosity involved. Um, and so now I kind of feel like these lies were the basis of what this new start was supposed to be on or about, but I don't think that this generosity outweighed these lies. Can we talk about the lies here? What is this? Oh, spirit. What is this? Jumper cards if you can, please. Whoa. Okay. Well, look at that. Lies about your home. Lies about your foundation. Lies about what is supposed to be like uh, celebrating having all of your world together. And then you have the four of um, swords, right? So that's like going inward and considering what it is. But then you've got two fours. You know, fours are talking about angelic guidance. Because there's your knight of wands. There's somebody who comes in and comes in and like leaves. That's like, it's lies. It's like blowing. I want to talk about. I'm seeing an image of like a balloon and when they like pull the thing and the fire comes out, it goes up and it's all elevated. But when you stop putting the fire into it, the balloon goes down. I don't know why I'm talking about balloons. <laughs> you got the devil energy on top of the seven of swords. Oh my God. I don't know who this is, but they were up to no good. I don't feel like it was on purpose. I just feel like they feel like because they're so generous that this was like all justified. What's the queen of water? Uh, yeah, it, there's a, there, oh my God. Okay. I'm just not going to talk about the fact that the three of cups is right there. <laughs> they said, no, talk about it. Oh, okay. Well, he's, whoever this is lied about hooking up with somebody else and they feel like they should be allowed to because they have all the money. I really like them apples. Let's see what happens. I get all hateful and then I drop all my cards. Okay. What's with this fool and the reverse and the strength in reverse? Um, possibly this could be with a fire sign. I want to say Sagittarius, but I'm not sure. 
see, so this new this this new pinnacle was offered. Like, look, we can make this work. Make it work. That's the three of pentacles. But I just don't feel like the offer was accepted. So the way this came out with the air sign on top of the six of earth, it's like the air sign is the one that's being really generous. And like showering, I wanted to say showering love and emotion, but the fact that it's next to the devil, it just doesn't feel like it, I want to keep saying it doesn't make sense. And then on the bottom of the deck, I just noticed there's a six of pentacles again. So it's like, it doesn't make sense. Why are you so mad at me if I'm if I'm doing all this generous stuff for you? I heard saving your ass. <laughs> if I'm like doing all of this stuff for like why it's either why are you lying to me? Or there I there's two very clear like ways this could go. This is one person who's being really generous and kind of wants to do whatever they want because they were generous and somebody isn't having it or somebody is being generous and somebody else is lying. So it's like, if I'm doing all this stuff for you, then why are you doing this to me? Um, so it just, it depends on which side of the spectrum you're on here. Because in your present, you've got burden. You have an unhappy air sign and something that is going to... Okay, so you've got... What's funny is you have the hangman in reverse right next to patience. Okay. <laughs> and this is very Aquarius, right? And I'm saying it's the Aquarius that wants to move forward because it's the king of uh, air in reverse. Aquarians are like that. When they figure out something they want to do, they want to go. I always see the knight of swords as like an Aquarius. But then right next to it, it's saying have patience. So something is trying to change that was burdensome because this Aquarius has had enough. What's the burden here? Burden, please. What's the burden for this situation? I think that's your card. The hangman. <laughs> the burden is that whoever this is is ready to get out and it seems like they can't. They can't get out of this. Ouch. They feel stuck. I heard taken care of. Probably because they're still taking care of this other person who isn't. There's somebody being taken care of. But they're not like playing ball. See, this, this person would rather just be by themselves. That's the Nine of Pentacles. That's being you know, independent. That's being uh, single. But there's all this delay. Like, they don't want to delay this anymore. They are ready. This relationship is over. They are ready to be this, like, it's like, okay, so the Nine of Pentacles, you have Nine Pentacles and you're all good. But the Ten of Pentacles, this is one pentacle. You have one pentacle to offer. And I think that somebody's ready to. Because over here, you have You have an offer to a fire sign that I don't think is accepted. Where are these? Where are these, please? Yeah, because somebody's moving on. Well, obviously, if there's no delay, if somebody's got a foot out the door, and that's probably this. This is the fire sign. And it was offered. All this generosity was offered, but there was still drama. So they're like, you know what? Peace, I'm out. Because, because these ten of pentacles together don't work. And so here's this one pentacle. Like, I'm still ready to offer this out. It's just... Why is patience here? Oh. So before... 
right? And then the Nine of Cups at the bottom. Before you go and offer your love somewhere else, have a little patience and like heal a little bit because you could very well end up jumping right into the exact same situation you were in before with somebody else who acts the same way because if you're if you haven't shaken all this energy, it's still going to be around. So coming up at, toward the end of May into June, you do have, <laughs> so here you have two indications of like not being by yourself. But here you have this like, here's the Aquarius, the star. And you're like ready to offer out this pentacle. <laughs> so I don't think the patience thing is going to work out. <laughs> That's all right. Do your thing, whatever. It's just you're you're disappointed, tired of being alone, so you're like, I'm gonna go and offer this pentacle. What is the pentacle, please? Because you know, like, there's something around you that you know is right for you. Because you've been you've been through it. You've already done the karmic thing. And so now you're going to manifest something better and you're done thinking about it. You've already, you've already done your thinking. So coming toward the end of May. So, all right. So you've got like in the next couple of weeks, you're like, all right, I'm going to deal with this heartbreak because I'd rather be by myself. Then you're like, okay, I'm ready to manifest hardcore. I'm going to manifest exactly what I want because I have one pentacle right here to give out and I'm going to give it out. So why is the Ten of Air in reverse then? Yeah, because so the Ten of Air, so the Ten of Air is the ending. It's done. But when it goes in reverse, that's like the, that's like being ready for the next chapter. And the next chapter is the Ace of Wands. What's the Queen of Earth, please? It's the Queen of Cups. But you're, whoever this is, is going to have to entirely move forward because if you, if you think that you're ready and it turns out you're not, you're going to be offering out empty cups, which is not going to work out in anybody's favor. It's just that there's a queen of cups and a king of cups in reverse here. That's a couple. And so maybe the person that you're connecting with coming toward the end of June, I mean, the end of May is like also hurt and broken. And so this would be an excellent place to get together and heal and work on growing this one seed here. I like that. Okay. So then what can they expect for June? What's going to happen in June in regards to this situation? June, please, jumpers. Thank you. So this is talking, I love this deck. It's the after tarot. This is the eight of cups, but in this deck, it's like somebody picks up your cups. And I usually like to say is that while somebody is out looking for the other cups, somebody comes in and takes these cups. And I think that might be part of the fear and why there's this like rushing energy. But this could also be somebody coming to see that your cups are what they were looking for. Yeah. This very well could be like a soulmate type thing coming towards you. Because that's what I was saying over here. This is mirrored. This heartbreak between two people. And then they come up and they're like, wow, this cup of love is exactly what I remember from my past life. These are twins. Whoa. Two endings. Right? 
I'd be getting at this a lot with this month, these two months, is that there's a lot of endings happening. But what it's doing is making space for new things. So here's the justice. So it's kind of like after all of this, you after this ending, you are able to get balance back because of this energy right here, this very old school soul maybe type. And then you get your happy home. Just the four ones. I'm gonna take all these. I just feel like it's still going to take a lot of work and effort to deal with this heartbreak. It's just nice to know that there might potentially be someone around you to help you get through it. And even if they're not somebody who stays around, they may have been like spiritually contracted to come and like be with you now while you deal with this. Could be a Libra. So this is this is transition. I don't think that this relationship down here is going to bloom into something huge until the work is put in to deal because these are two working cards. Three of Pentacles and the Seven Pentacles. Until you put the work in to deal with this. Death. Okay. So that is all I have for you for uh, May and June. All I want to say is allow yourself to transition. Because, you know, I mean, there, there, there's heartbreak that needs dealt with. And I don't think you're going to be able to move forward and do anything else that's like substantial in your life as far as love goes until this is dealt with. Because this card keeps like, anytime I move other cards, this thing keeps like floating around. So smile even though your heart is broken. Okay? Because this storm will pass eventually. All right, Aquarius, that is all I have for you. Um, Find me on Instagram, dharmajane.8. Otherwise, see you next time.